uh, we're going to uh, career day at Abbott Tech, so going to talk to some kids about some HVAC and some electrical. So Daryl's joining us and see what we could get today. Hopefully we could bring some uh, value to them. Come on, we know you're not doing anything important. Ha! Got he! I guess we're going to have four different sessions that we're going to have to uh, present to different classes and uh, starts in about 10 minutes, I think. So in the, inside the company, inside of Service Stars, I'm operationally the general manager, which means that I'm accountable for everything that goes on in the company. So everything from the type of calls that we run, how we do, what our performance is like, uh, how we advertise ourselves, how we hire people, you know, how do we educate people and train people. All of that is resting on me. Appearance is everything. So when you guys are visiting a location, working at a client's home like we do, the way you show up, the way you walk up to that door, the first five seconds when you're standing at that door, they're already judging you. They already pretty much like you or hate you. So when you guys are showing up, clean shaven, clean cut, a uniform, whatever that uniform may be, we wear white button up shirts, our technicians. They're always in a collared shirt, never a t-shirt. The, the clients love that. So when you show up to their home, ripped holy jeans, well, what kind of work do you think they're going to expect you to do? You show up with your tools and they're all falling apart and, and don't work? Well, they're looking at you and what you're looking like, and that's the type of job that they're thinking you're going to do in their home or at the, at the job. So always look professional, look the part. I know Abitech does a great job supplying you guys with uniforms. Uh, most employers nowadays do that as well. Wear them, take care of them, you know, look the part. It's very, very important. Uh, we have guys that we've hired on right out of school, 18 years old. Right, throw them into the uh, career, really push them to drive them. You know, I really want to see them achieve a lot, and then they leave. You know, and I realize that's because they've yet to experience much, and maybe this trades for them, maybe it's not. Uh, my own very co cousin, he graduated. I don't even know what year. If I had to guess, somewhere around 2010 mark. He was in the HVAC uh, industry, and then he got out of the HVAC industry. He worked for us for a time period, and then he didn't, and now he's coming back to work for us again. So again, it's not something that when you leave here, if you don't use it like it's gone, he still has the education requirements met. He already has some hours towards the license and all he needs to do is just pick up where he left off. So again, it's not something that you're kind of like shoehorned into. I do encourage you guys to experience some things while you're out there and that's for any trade uh, that you're in. For me, what I learned over the, um, over the years is to seek out happiness, you know, really. So uh, when I was in the trades, I was happy at any given moment, but then there was a certain point that you become unhappy because maybe the growth opportunity isn't there. Maybe it's not all what you thought it was gonna be. Maybe you're chasing money. And again, that's not gonna bring much in the way of happiness. Uh, short term, it allows you to do things and give you freedom, vacations and buy things and whatever, but long term, it's not gonna make you feel good. So what I did was then revamp my career. I said, all right, let me put everything aside. Let me start my own business. I get to write the rules, which means that I get to treat people the way I feel that an employer should be treating their people. So at Service Stars, we have a very specific belief and very specific rule on what we do and why we do it. Uh, we believe in an organization that gets to inspire people to do things that inspire them. We believe in an organization that inspires every single one of us to come to work, feel safe, uh, feel fulfilled, and then return home uh, every day and repeat that. So in other words, like, it's not just come to work and check the, the time clock off and you did your work, you get your paycheck at the end of the week, but at the end of the week, did you feel like you were providing some kind of value that bring you fulfillment in your life? If you're not, we will transfer you, we will fire you if necessary, we'll do whatever it needs because I really don't want to see anyone spend time in a position that's not bringing any type of value to their life. You know, that's the idea. It's not a monetary thing. Monetary helps you pay the bills, it helps you do things, but it's not the end goal. Uh, some of us are, are born and have that opportunity where you just feel something so natural for you, then go that route, you know, go, to go all in on it. Because by my age, if you go all in on something you're passionate about, you're going to be a lot further ahead than I ever am at my age, I could tell you that, uh, you know, as far as in progress in your life. Me, I feel like I had to restart again because I wasn't on the right path, and sometimes that's frustrating. So do something you love. You know, the average work uh, in, a, in a lifetime is 90,000 hours. 90,000 hours is an average work lifetime. Uh, so think about getting your trade license, it's 8,000 hours. I mean, it's like a, a little tiny blip on your entire career. So 90,000 hours is one third of your lifetime. Uh, why spend one third of your lifetime doing anything that you don't like? 
you know, there might be days you don't enjoy and that's okay, but make sure the majority of them are bringing some kind of happiness or fulfillment along with hopefully a decent, you know, paycheck for you that you can enjoy the things that you want in life. So. So we just finished up with the uh, students and uh, walked through for career day for Abitech. I think it went really well. Uh, students were engaged, asked, asked a lot of questions, hopefully they uh, gained some knowledge out of it from us. There's a lot of professionals from different trades here, electricians, plumbers, uh, HVAC technicians, uh, police officers, a little bit of everything. So hopefully they made out pretty well today and, and learned a few things. It went okay today. Um, I think the kids learned quite a bit. You know, there was a, a couple sessions that got a little long. I think 25 minutes is a long time to talk to someone about, you know, one particular topic, but I feel pretty good overall. 